Imagine for a minute that you've had an accident and you think you may have broken your arm. So you go to the hospital and the doctor confirms with an x-ray that yes, it is indeed broken and you need a cast. Well, you wouldn't expect the cast to look like this. Sure, this may help the broken bone, but it's also going to create new problems like a lack of mobility in other limbs. You may lose weight because it's harder to eat and it's definitely gonna limit your ability to do any kind of exercise. So when you break your arm, this isn't what's done. Instead, it looks something like this. But doctors apply a cast just to the broken bone and don't cast the other limbs that aren't broken. So what about using a similar approach to treat a psychiatric condition? What if like healing a particular limb, we can treat particular areas of the brain that are underlying a particular psychiatric condition? Surely it doesn't make sense to treat the whole brain when only certain brain areas are functioning differently in someone with a psychiatric condition. Take depression, for example. Now, 264 million people worldwide suffer from clinical depression. 264 million. And I'm sure you all know that clinical depression is associated with persistent sadness and sometimes even suicidal thoughts. But what you might not know is depression can also affect your ability to sleep, your appetite, can affect your concentration, be associated with physical pain and digestive problems. But despite how common and debilitating depression is, most common treatments for depression still look a bit like the whole body cast. They affect the whole brain rather than just the brain areas that are functioning differently in someone with depression. And this results in treatments that don't work very well. And if they're going to work at all, they take weeks to get there and they often have horrible side effects. Take, for example, antidepressant medications. If you were to take an antidepressant medication, it would change the chemical balance across your brain. And this could result in side effects like insomnia, nausea, and weight gain. This is essentially like pouring car oil all over your car's engine when the oil needs topping up. Now, some of the oil is likely gonna land in the right place, but it's also going to cause other problems with the engine when the oil lands in other areas. So this really isn't a great method. So how can we treat just certain areas of the brain and not the whole brain? Well, researchers have developed a tool that can do this called transcranial magnetic stimulation, TMS. And TMS can be used to just treat brain areas that are functioning differently in someone with depression. And it does this using a magnetic field. And because it just treats these particular brain areas, it doesn't have the side effects associated with other depression treatments. So this is great. We have a treatment that can selectively treat these brain areas and not treat the whole brain. But we have two problems. Firstly, it takes a long time. The TMS treatments we have now take six weeks of coming to the clinic every day. Now imagine you're feeling the worst you could possibly feel. You're suffering with severe clinical depression. You can't work to provide for your family. You can't sleep. You have this brain fog that makes it almost impossible to concentrate on anything. And you find it very difficult to grab, get out of bed during the day. Now, six weeks is a long time to be feeling this way to see if, well, maybe you might feel better at the end of it. Especially if you consider this could be the third, fifth, or even 10th treatment that you're trying for your depression. And the second problem that we have with TMS treatments right now is after this six weeks of waiting, there's only about a 30% chance that you will feel better, which isn't particularly good odds. So my colleagues and I at Stanford University wanted to try and make this treatment better. We wanted it to work for as many people as possible and work as quickly as possible. So how did we try and improve this treatment? Well, we took into account differences in people's brains. Now, everyone's brain is wired differently. I don't think anyone listening to this thinks their brain is wired in the same way as Elon Musk's. Mine definitely isn't. Now, everyone's brain is different, just like everyone's fingerprints are different. And that means that the best place to apply this TMS treatment is slightly different in each person's brain. 
So we took images of people's brains using MRI scanners and use this information to find the best place to apply this treatment based on each person's individual brain. And as well as personalizing the treatment for each person's individual brain, we use neuroscience research to decide how much of this treatment to give and how often to give this treatment so that we could fully optimize this treatment. And the treatment we designed was just five days long so that if we were gonna see improvements in people's depression, we were gonna see them fast. So what happened? Well, after our five day treatment, 90% of people in the clinical trial felt better. They no longer met clinical criteria for depression. In fact, on average, people felt better in just three days. And we didn't see the side effects associated with other depression treatments because we weren't treating the whole brain. We were just targeting those brain areas associated with depression. Now, this is so exciting because it means it's possible to treat clinical depression both quickly and effectively without side effects. But depression isn't special. We can use targeted personalized treatments like this to treat other psychiatric conditions. If we can identify brain areas that are underlying a particular condition or a symptom, then we can use treatments like these to change those brain areas to provide quick and effective treatment. And treatments like these could be particularly important where acting quickly is vital. Imagine a veteran with post-traumatic stress disorder that's so severe that they have a plan to kill themselves soon. Or an individual with an eating disorder that stopped eating and is wasting away more and more every day. Fast and effective treatments are vital to save the lives of individuals with conditions like these. So just like we apply a cast to a broken arm and not the whole body, Targeted TMS treatments could be used to treat just the brain areas that we need to treat rather than treating the whole brain to potentially provide fast and effective treatments without side effects. Now, I look forward to a future where we have fast and effective treatments for all psychiatric conditions. Thank you so much for listening.